Yeah, it's um, it's been very surreal, very humbling. Um, we like to say it's a God thing for sure. For sure. Um, so for us, we got CSU off the ground in August of 2022. Mm. And prior to CSU, we actually had a dealership on the side as a hobby where we were selling another manufacturer's sauna. And so anybody that was in Ohio that wanted this sauna through this manufacturer would have to go through us because we own the rights to the dealership for all of Ohio. So basically we would field requests and then one to two saunas a month type of sales would come through. It was good, like side cash. This was just prior to COVID mm -hmm. and then COVID hit. And then there were surcharges on wood. There were 11 month lead times. There was like 11 K minimum orders, decreases in craftsmanship were, were starting to occur. And so we realized that it was becoming a very unmarketable product and mm. experience for people, specifically in Ohio. And Ohio is not bred for sauna in mm -hmm. terms of the type of person that will buy sauna just because it's a higher priced uh, item. And the demographic doesn't really allow for that in terms of like the medium income in Ohio. So we kind of realized that there was trouble that we're about to find out. And we got 12 months straight with no sale during COVID. And there was a point last year, March of 2022, where we were on a morning trail run. And on this trail run, my business partner and I at the time were talking about how we're going in different directions with our life. Like Nick and his wife were just opening up a uh, school that's a super learner driven environment that mm -hmm. is all about breeding entrepreneurs and leaders at, a, at younger ages called the Acton Academy. Mm -hmm. And it's there in Cleveland, Ohio, where we're from. And then Myself, I was in the gym space for nearly 10 straight years mm. as a personal trainer, general manager, then owning uh, a gym up in, up in Cleveland called Black Flag Athletics. And we scaled that from 30 members to 400 plus members. Wow. And that was like where I got really introduced to the business. Anyway, so he was really pursuing his entrepreneurial pursuits. I'm pursuing mine. This is a waste of time pursuing this marketing uh, or I'm trying to market this dealership. So let's, let's just dissolve it. So we agreed to that on the, on our morning run and 10 minutes later on that same run, we both looked at each other real quick and said, let's back up for a second. Mm. What's actually happening? Why do we want to dissolve this? What are the issues that we're experiencing? How could somebody solve these? Because this isn't the only company that is having issues with all these features I was telling you about that, that we're lacking. And so we just started running with the concept of saying, should we manufacture where would we manufacture? If we were to manufacture, what heater would we use? Mm. If we were to manufacture, what wood would we use? If we were to manufacture, who do we want representing the brand? What do yeah. we want the brand to stand for? And it was all within like this hour run that we decided, actually, maybe instead of dissolving the dealership, we go into manufacturing in mm. Amish country in Ohio, include the home heater. Let's do simple sauna packages. Let's, instead of having a billion different SKUs, let's really focus on one to two SKUs and make it an all-inclusive package with one option. Do you need a roof kit or not? Yeah. Let's do quick lead times of four weeks. Let's, let's find trusted fitness professionals and influencers on Instagram who have great audiences who want to bring people together through sauna and let's let them highlight what CSU means. Mm. And so we leaned in on that and that was March and it took us about five months or so where we built out the team, we found the perfect manufacturing site in Amish country in Ohio on the east side of Cleveland. And we launched the Edwin Barrel, which was only one SKU right out of the get-go on August 1st of 2022. And it took us three or four days to get our first sale. And so as you can imagine, going 18 straight months without a single sauna sale dude, to selling your first one, it gave us a huge boost of confidence, mm. a huge like reassurance that this is what we're supposed to be doing. Yeah. And shortly thereafter, I got connected with Wyatt Ewing, the founder of Ice Barrel, and we hit it off right away. And we wanted to bring on a cold immersion product onto our site. So we started wholesaling Ice Barrel, but he's like, Hey, let's actually chat for a bit. I, I want to get to know you. And likewise, I wanted to get to know him. Mm -hmm. We hit it off right away. And he said, actually, I'm going to buy two of your saunas. So this was a day after we had our first sale. So now I'm yeah, thinking, three. oh, wow, this is this is three in the first six days, seven days. And then we went to the CrossFit Games. And I got to meet Eric Hinman for the first time. We mm. signed him as an ambassador. And then we had a sale and then another sale and another sale and another sale. And by the end of the first month, we had eight sales. And it, it gives me goosebumps to think about it because it's just like the perspective 
mm. of having 18 straight months with no sale to eight sales the first month and not knowing what this was going to turn into. Yeah. And so you fast forward a year to where we're at now and um, it's it's been a blessing through and through. We have around 50 to 60 people monthly investing into CSUs. That's and incredible. Which, again, as a um, reflecting back on it, it, it gives me a lot of appreciation for what we went through prior mm. without selling anything. And I think that we, we're in a very fortunate position to start creating demand in mm -hmm. the U.S. space because we're starting to get more and more people understanding that sauna can be a way of life in the United States because it's still a very new concept. It's yeah. very prominent in Europe. Yeah. But I totally see us being able to continue to drive demand for sauna if we do it the right way. Dude, that is such a incredible accomplishment of 50 to 60 units from not having sold a single unit for 18 months. I mean, the gratitude and the perspective that you have, like every win, you're just going to savor it so much more because you know how difficult it was being in the dirt for those 18 months with that business. Yeah, 100%. And it's, uh, it's one of those things where I remember back at the start, when we first got the manufacturing idea off the ground, I always wonder what my life would be like when we had 10 units or 10, 10 different people investing into Sisu in their life, uh, what that would be for my family. Mm -hmm. And um, then, then that came and then you're always focused on the gap, right? There's the gap in the gain story where you're at a certain point right now and the gap is where you're currently at to where you want to go. And then mm -hmm. the gain is where you were to where you're at now. I've never been a guy to really focus on the gain. I've always been a guy to focus on the gap. And so, and I think this is very, uh, a very common thing for humans to think about, uh, or just to have, uh, mental processes about, we get so focused on the gap that you never really appreciate what actually happened. Mm -hmm. And so that 10 unit month came after two months. Right. And I remember, wow, like my lifestyle is changing. My family life is starting to change a little bit in a, in a good way too. I'm able to provide a little bit on this and adjacent to the gym business. This is, this is kind of fun, but you start focusing again on the gap. And so then you keep driving, you keep driving, you keep driving, you keep driving. And what I ended up realizing is that it's, it's not any sort of financial or monetary compensation that I'm looking for from CSU. Uh, but what I've finally come to internalize is that it's the fulfillment of actually changing somebody's life through sauna and with Sisu and somebody actually getting that Sisu lifestyle and running with it. Yeah. That's what really gets me going. And so now that's my entire mission is at least with this business again, is to get more people embracing the Sisu lifestyle. I don't really care about how many uh, units per se for financial gain. It's more so again, can we just get more people adjusted to this new lifestyle and embracing hard shit.